On the Baltic waters of the Stockholm archipelago, these marine archaeologists make their final preparations to dive. Their destination, a 500-year-old merchant ship that sank here loaded with cargo. When the team discovered the wreck in 2017, they realised the goods preserved on it had huge historic value. But returning to this site just months later, they found key artefacts had been stolen. We saw that somebody has found this position and stolen this important pottery. So we, we, I was really angry, I was, you know, I was cursing in my full face mask down in the, at 30 meters of depth. I was so pissed off and really angry. And it's, it's so unnecessary. Wrecks like this dot Sweden's eastern coastline. The timber is well preserved because of the Baltic's low salt content. But the team say they've noticed several other thefts from shipwrecks in this area. For archaeologist Jim Hansen, items like this cooking pot stolen from a 16th century merchant ship are of more value when they are left in place on the wreckage. He says others like it must be protected. If uh, everything is still there at the wreck, we can tell a story of who is so close to the reality as possible. Because there's no books, there's no sketches or blueprints whatsoever on these kind of things. So we need these artifacts. To tackle the problem, Hansen and his colleagues at Sweden's Maritime Museum have launched a project to photograph and film the sites. They hope the information they gather underwater will allow them to protect them. Uh, we can come back and check with the photos and check with those stations uh, and on the survey plan what, what happens if people have been here looting or if uh, natural causes have uh, made the wreck uh, fall apart. The Coast Guard, Navy and police have agreed to monitor for unauthorised dive boats. And Coast Guard divers like these are being trained by the Maritime Museum's team to help monitor the wrecks. Documenting sensitive historic sites requires new skills for the divers, who have to learn to move around them without causing damage and to note key details. This is very different for us, but we understand the value. It feels meaningful. And we know that unfortunately there are thefts on these shipwrecks and we feel that we need to have control and know what's going on on these wrecks. With the authorities on board to help, these archaeologists hope to be able to better protect the Baltic's underwater history and preserve the wrecks beneath the waves for future generations to learn from.